Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. All right, so what's the saying? Uh, if you love something, you gotta set it free. And if it was true love, it'll come back. Well, this is kind of uh, this is kind of that type of scenario, right? So what we're looking at is two sleds that I used to own 10 years ago. And the very first video I posted on my YouTube channel was of that sled with my wife and my daughter riding on it. It says Emily's uh, first ride on the uh, XC. Um, so 10 years ago, I had these two sleds. I sold them to uh, a person about five miles uh, down the road from me. And that guy had them for probably about six or seven years. And then he sold them to a friend of mine. And my friend uh, actually let me know that he had them about two years ago and he uh, offered to uh, sell them back to me at the time i didn't have any time for it i had too many things going on i, I told him no and then he reached out to me over thanksgiving and said hey i still have those two sleds you want them so struck a deal i bought a sled uh, i'm sorry a trailer and these two sleds for 800 bucks trailer has a, has already been uh uh sold and uh that's already gone down the road and so now we have the 500 and the 2000 xe 600 uh, SP, um, so it's a 600. Um, we'll get into a little bit more on that in, in a little bit. So uh, this is a 1998 Indy 500. Uh, this sled is actually kind of a unicorn. Um, it actually has a CRC front end. This is kind of like a one year deal where Polaris was going back and forth on CRC sleds and um, Polaris had CRC on this one, I think for one or two years and then that the evolved uh, chassis went went away. So this sled has about 6,500 miles on it. And so I went through it and I, you know, did all the car work and everything else, fuel line, you know, pickup line and tank, you know, set the carbs and everything else. Didn't bother taking a compression check when I first got it because I figured it was okay. And, uh, <laughs> So it needs to say, I should have taken a compression check, but you know what, it doesn't matter because I'd have bought the sleds anyway. And uh, we, we turns out that we have 95 and about 98 uh, uh, collectively in both uh, cylinders. So the sled does run, it just runs awful. So at this point, I've made the decision to part the sled out because to rebuild that engine for two pistons, gasket set and everything else you're looking around 300 bucks for uh just the top end and the time involved and right now it's december 15th and i don't have any time to devote to this thing i still have to get the access and the adventure in here i still have to go through all the work on the evo over there and honestly i don't have time on this and even when all said and done even though if yeah it can be your boat but you know the return on investment for it, I don't think it's gonna be there. So I made the decision to part it out. Uh, the seat has already been sold. The windshield has been sold. And uh, we're gonna slowly uh, part this thing out and send it off to uh, many quarters of the uh, of the United States for it to live on in, in many other sleds. So not really much on the Indy 500. So talk about the XC. So again, this is a 2000 XC. 600 SP. Um, I, again, I had this sled 10 years ago. Um, I did quite a bit of riding on it. Never let me down, never broke down. And uh, actually, it was a very good running sled. Um, as where we're at, we're just under 9,000 miles. It's 87.71. So um, it does run. Well, it started to run until the recoil broke on it. And uh, I got I got about 10 or 20 pulls on it and it broke. So I still need to go through this. But if you look, uh, one of the things I did on the uh, on this sled when, it, when I originally had it is I swapped out the seat for a Polaris Pro X seat off a edge uh, sled. And uh, what I did is I made a custom riser in, in the back or a seat wedge and to accommodate for the difference in the tunnel between an edge and a uh, and a uh, a Gen 2, right? So that worked out pretty well. I'm actually surprised to see that that seat is not torn or ripped or anything like that. And the, uh, the wedge that I made is still has all the paint on it. So I'm actually kind of surprised. 
But here's the current condition of it. Again, I know it has spark. It does run. Um, so we still have to go through it. But the main focus right now is breaking down the Indy, getting this thing out of here. Then we'll get this thing up on the left, go through it, see the what its current state is, and see what uh, the fate of this thing is, and we'll go from there. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. But hopefully more on that. We'll have some good news on it once we uh, start working on it. But it's in pretty good shape. Hood vent is in the belly pan. Still have that. The bumper on these uh, on these Gen 2s are known for uh, for breaking, so very happy to have that all in one piece still. Plastic skis. The track that's on it is unstudded, and uh, yeah. So, because I remember when I put the seat on it, I put a new track on it, and uh, the, the track probably maybe has 2,000 miles on it. So I mean, I'm excited to get this XC up on the left and uh, see what its current state is. And if it's running halfway decent, we'll probably keep it and do a rebuild on it over the uh, over the spring and the summer. We'll see. It all depends on how bad it is. But all right. So yeah. Um, so the Indy 500 is going to be parted out. If there's any parts that you need off of it, let me know. The sled does have reverse. Uh, the hood's in pretty good shape. The side panels, not so much, although well, the one on the left is not that great. Uh, so the clear coat is boiling off of it. So, but the hood is, the hood's in good shape. There's no cracks on it. And uh, yeah, so brand new track on it as well. Got the standard one inch player shock wave on it. So. All right, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, go leave them in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. See ya.